Hello and welcome to this video on soundness. With this video we complete our evaluation of deductive arguments. We began this evaluation with our last video on validity and in that video we learned that a deductive argument is well reasoned if it is valid and that means that if the premises are true the conclusion must be true. So with this video we complete um, our evaluation of deductive arguments so the first important thing to note here is that soundness will only apply to deductive arguments and hopefully that's obvious given the fact that this is our final step in our evaluation of deductive arguments. Here's the definition of soundness. An argument is sound if it is valid and the premises are true. You can think of these two things as conditions which make an argument sound uh, as necessary conditions. In other words, uh, you need both in order for the argument to be sound. You need it to be valid and you need the premises to be true. Here's an example. All people who live in Long Beach are people who live in California. All people who live in California are people who live in the United States. Therefore, all people who live in Long Beach are people who live in the United States. Okay, this argument is sound because it is valid. And we know that it's valid because if we were to put these things into categories, we put all the people who live in Long Beach inside California and then we put California inside the United States we see that it necessarily has to follow that people who live in Long Beach also live in the United States so that's what makes it valid uh, because uh, if the premises are true the conclusion has to be true but in this case we know that the premises are true we know that it is true that people who live in Long Beach are people who live in California we know that it is true that people who live in California are people who live in the United States and so the conclusion has to follow that all people who live in Long Beach are people who live in the United States. So this is an example of a sound argument. The premises are true and it is also valid. Let's talk about unsound arguments. Given the definition of soundness as arguments in which um, the premises are true and arguments that are valid, then the definition or what counts as an unsound argument is not hard to see. There are three ways in which an argument can be unsound. First, it is invalid. Here's an example of that. All banks are financial institutions. Merrill Lynch is a financial institution. Therefore, Merrill Lynch is a bank. In order to understand why this argument is invalid, you need to go back and watch um, the last video on validity. Another way in which um, the argument can be unsound is if the premises are false. Again, if the definition of, of soundness is that the argument has to be valid and the premises are true, if one of those conditions is missing, then the argument is unsound. Well, if the premises are false, we have that uh, second condition missing, the condition that requires for the premises to be true. Um, and so if the premises are false, the argument is unsound. Here's an example of that. All Germans are people who live in Russia. All people who live in Russia are people who live in South America. Therefore, all Germans are people who live in South America. This argument is valid. If we were to put uh, the category of, of uh, Germans inside of the, uh, Russia, that is, the, the Germans are people who live in Russia, and we put um, all Russians inside the category of South America, that is to say, all people who live in Russia are people who live in South America, then the conclusion does have to follow that all Germans are people who live in South America. So, so it would be valid uh, if we did that kind of diagram test but we know that the premises are false. It is not true that Germans are people who live in Russia. It is not true that people who live in Russia are people who live in South America. And so that's why this is unsound. Even though it is valid, the premises are false. And of course, the last way in which an argument can be unsound is if it is invalid and the premises are false. Here's an example of that. All cats are reptiles. All dogs are reptiles. Therefore, all cats are dogs. In order to understand why this argument is, argument is invalid, you need to go back and look at the Merrill Lynch argument, which is a similar structure. Um, the person um, overlooks the fact that, uh, that some of these categories can be, placed, can be put in different places. And then, of course, we know that the premises are false. So this is our third way in which we can have an unsound argument. And that is basically it for this video. Um, in our next video, we're going to focus on evaluating inductive.